do a review on this half wig from Paul's Hair and Beauty World. I got her in this box. Ombre hair, double volume hair piece and she's synthetic. This wig doesn't have a name but I like to have a name for every single wig I have which usually they come with a name anyway but this one doesn't and I'm thinking when I first saw her I was like that is Chloe hair, that's Chloe Kardashian hair so I think this wig will be called Chloe, feeling very flirty with the hair, very layered. She is 100% tongable, so you can restyle her if you know you just don't like the little kinks or you want to curl her a bit more. This part, my hair, this is my hair right here. So, all here, that's a bit of my hair there. This is where the wig is, right there. So you get a match, find out the colour of your hair, get a match for Paul's Hair World colours and it just blends in so well. I was a bit worried because my hair, because it is ombre, this, I thought, oh no, this hair isn't going to match anything because, you know, my hair's got like, the colours just changed since I've got it. But they helped me straight away, they knew exactly the colour that I should have need. Should I need? Should need. And it was this, and I was just so made up. We tried a different one on first, which was quite curly, and I'll put that link up as well, just to give you the option, see what you think. This one, though, is a bit more natural. The other one was more if you were going out, like on a night out, or an occasion like a wedding, or something like that. But, yes. This wig is just... Um... Honestly, like so happy. This wig, the shine, if you can see, this is my hair, ignore my hair. The shine is like barely anything at all. It's like natural shine. It really looks, see, can you tell the difference from my hair to the shine in that hair? Do not think so. <laughs> she has a long comb right at the front of the wig right here. She has a long comb inside, so you just attach her. A long comb at the back, and she also has like a little like pull cord, um, and there's like two pieces of cord on the side. You can't feel it or anything. It's just so you can tighten the wig to make it a bit more secure, depending on how loose or tight fit you like your wig. When I first put this wig on, for for real, not when I just tried it on in the shop, but when I put it on at home and, you know, wore it when I went out last night, have a little test run with the wig, I was a bit worried. I was like, oh no, it feels like it's going to fall off, but it didn't. Didn't, thank God. But what you can do, you can put the bobby pins, click them round and make it more secure if that's what you feel like. I put two just to make sure because I was unsure but today I've left it and it's not falling off, it's stuck <laughs> but I'm used to having front lace wigs so a whole wig. I'm not used to having my hair out here but I need to be 100% honest with you. I love having this wig so much better. I think this is the way I'm going to go, but you can't obviously have a half wig if you want to change the colour of your hair. And that was the whole point in doing the wigs. So, I think though for now this is what I'm going to be doing. So, this is how I prepared my hair to put under this half wig. Do not laugh. <laughs> so, I highly recommend this wig. I just think everybody needs this type of wig. No matter if you wear full lace wigs or anything, you need like a half wig, a three quarter wig, um, just so you can have your natural hair colour. And I know that people get the same hair colour as their own, but in a full lace wig, this just feels so much better, so much more freeing. So I recommend it 110%.
so yeah, if you want this wig, I'll put the link below in the description. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please subscribe. I have plenty more reviews coming up. So I hope to see you soon. Bye.